Hi everyone, this is Nikki Jameson here and I wanted to show you really quickly how to create a custom palette in Corel Painter 2023. So I've just finished uh, a first pass or what I think is a first pass of this abstract and if you've been watching my past videos you know I've been demoing a number of brushes, very brief demos just to show you what some of the brushes can do. And so what I've done is that I've gone back and I've used some of these brushes in different brush categories in Corel Painter 2023 and I've used them to create this abstract. One of the great things that Corel Painter 2023 does is that it actually displays the last eight or so brushes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think it's about 10 brushes, the last 10 brushes you used so if you're in a painting and you're you're creating it and you want to stick to some of those same brushes or you don't want to waste a lot of time trying to recall which brushes you've used out of the many brushes in Corel Painter you can create what's called a custom palette now granted I don't often do this um, but it is a really good practice to to do that, particularly if you like to paint a certain way and you like to use a certain set of brushes and it can save a lot of time. And in a custom palette, you don't just have to have brushes. You can have your favorite papers. Like I started off using um, this paper here. And in fact, this is actually a custom palette with um, I amended it from. Uh, another artist custom palette actually and what I did is that I set up a custom palette with all the uh, menu items that I most frequently use so it helps me it actually saves me time from always going into window and having to scroll and go through the different commands in the window or any of these menus so this is a custom palette that I have here um, I have my papers flow maps and so on and I've actually got another section for my papers here, which is also uh, the paper library. But I'm not going to talk about the other menu items at the moment. I can show you that in another video. What I'm going to show you is how to set up a cust the custom palette for this particular abstract that I did. So you have your brushes in uh, the different categories and you can use any of these uh, categories and there are many categories and so going from one to the other can be a little bit um, time consuming. So what you do if you want to create a custom palette um, you basically start off by just pulling and I actually just started this one but I will add to it but what you do is that you go to your brush category category that you're in so let's say I want to go to um, this these are the thick paint brushes and that's what I was using for this uh, for this abstract that I was doing here so what you do is you go to the category that you want or the category that you're in uh, let's say this is thick paint compatible um, and I'm going to choose one that I haven't actually added so let's say I want to add um, I don't know one of these brushes I don't know maybe uh, the airbrush so to do that I just press shift don't forget to press shift and I pull it and it will place it let me just move this here and I'll um, just I don't think I can control Z that but never mind let's just make this a little bit wider uh, so you press the shift the shift key and it will pull it onto this custom pattern. That's what I did with all of these. So I'm going to do that because maybe you didn't see that one. Let's go to another category. I'll go to my palette knives. I was using palette knives in this um, abstract. So you can see there's a lot, there are a lot of palette knives here. Um, and maybe one day we'll actually look through them and, and see what they're doing. But let's say you want to put a heavy loaded in here and that's one of the ones that you, you really like. So you just shift and drag and if you start off, even we don't, if you don't have any there, do, do shift and drag, it will automatically create this custom palette. So if you do shift and drag, drag it on, and it will place it in the custom palette. I'm going to put an eraser there. So drag the eraser and just plonk it there. Now, you can see that some of these are showing the icon. And this is solely a matter of, of, of preference. Sometimes it's good to see the icon. But if you know what these brushes do, you don't want the icon. You can just... Um, I'll do this without using my pen. Um, you can click on these three buttons, oh, the top one, 
actually. I'm going to use my mouse here because it, uh, if I right click on my mouse, um, it will ask if I want which view I want. So here I've got the wide icon view. There is the icon view, icon view, which makes it smaller. So I just right click and click icon view. It's a, it just shows you the soft airbrush, but it shows you the icon. I'll do the same with this. Or you can have a text view. Now at the moment, the icon view actually saves a lot more space. But if you don't know what these icons mean and you just want to see the name of the brush, you can click and instead change it to text view. OK, and if you want to remove any of these, you can just delete. And you can actually or you can rename. If you try and pull this without the shift key, you won't it won't actually move any of the brushes. So here I've got in my custom palette, which I will rename. So it won't be custom palette three. See if I can rename the custom palette. Um, in fact, let's let's do it now. So if I go into Window, Custom Palette, Organizer, it's got Custom Palette 3. Okay, so what I can do there, instead of being able to do it in the actual palette itself, is to click Rename, and I'm going to call this Thick Paint Abstract. brushes and then I click OK and then what you can do you can export that um, custom palette you click make sure you click done and then it will place that in your library of custom palettes so that's how you do a custom palette in Corel Painter it's a great way to put your collection of brushes papers commands whatever it is you need in a separate palette and you can just open that palette and go straight to painting without having having to go through lots and lots of, of brushes and it also helps you remember which brushes that you used for which painting. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care.